Hello, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This is the 4x4 DLC. Last time out was the presumably penultimate um, invoice as number 18 of 19. We had to help this guy uh, or girl with their grandpa's uh, old car, make it run again. We have to leave most of it orange, which is something I haven't done before. Uh, but that was quite straightforward. So let's see who or what, if anything, is next. So here we are. Okay, it looks like it is actually a job. So, they heard that we're going on holiday soon. They've got one last job for me, a big one. I've got this chassis of an off-road. You need a whole bunch of new parts to make it into a complete running car for 50 grand. So is this the job I thought the last one was, where basically... Oh, right, no, there's not even any parts on it. Uh. Okay, so there's quite a lot of it missing. There's not, not even any spark plugs. No exhaust manifold, no clutch, no gearbox. There's bizarrely an air filter cover. Does it have an air filter in it? I wonder. <laughs> it's worth checking. No. <laughs> okay, uh, that also didn't have anything inside. I see the oil filler cap and the uh, air filter cover were okay. Oh wow, it seriously does have nothing on it. Alright, I put the butchers at the back, so no no brake disc, no bushes, no fuel filters, nothing. Right, okay. Let's have a look at what I've brought in my inventory, because this could get quite confusing. So I've got some let's just sell everything and start fresh. Oh, I've got these bits as well still now, haven't I? Well I don't need a suspension front arm. Alright, I'm going to speed this bit up. Okay, so I need two more brake discs. Uh, and everything else is everyone off. Fill the cap and an air filter cover thingy. So, I need an air filter. I've got one of those. I need one of these. One of these. Uh, this is quite simple. Oh, is it a... Oh, I think it's a V6. Oh, bugger. Alright, I need an alternator. Uh, I don't believe I need a diff. I need a battery. Belt tensioner. Probably need four of those wheels. I need four of these suckers. Be nice if they came with the brake pads. Two more of these. Hit eight of these little suckers. Two. Three. Uh, I'm going to come back to the exhaust system. Right, I need one of these, one of these, one of these. Uh, I'm not sure about the drive axles. Or the drive shaft. Or the exhaust system. I presume I need axles. Let's come back to the axles. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much axle work going on in there, nope. <laughs> okay, so I need a front axle, uh, a front drive shaft off-road, fuel filter, a fuel pump, a gearbox off-road, really. Um, well, I suppose it's a V6, but... Yeah. Idler pulley. Two of these. Uh, this is a V6, isn't it? So yeah, I have to have one of those, one of those. Uh, two inner tie rods. Exhaust system. I'm leaving. Ah, off road gearbox. Look, there we go. Off road rear muffler. I'll definitely want one of those. I should. I'm doing the whole exhaust system later. Oil filter, yes. Out of tie rod, two of, please. Power steering rack, wow, 1500. I hope there's an off road version. Rear axle, <laughs> rear drive shaft off road, two rubber bushes, serpentine V6, 
Oh, fucking shock absorbs of some sort. Shock absorbs off road two for the rear. Possibly two for the front, but I'm not certain. Six spark plugs. Two. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Starter oh, V6, I guess. Uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Suspension spring rear, definitely. I'm fairly certain. I'm not sure about the front. Sway bar, yes. Sway bar, yes. Timing belt V6, yes. And a water pump. Alright. Let's keep me going for a bit. Let's go. Let's go, daddy o. Alright, so. Uh, let's go into assemble mode. And then I start assembling. Yeah. Woo. Ooh, yeah. Woo. I presume these bolts come for free. Uh, time to these things. Awesome. Start the tensioner and the alternator. And then the. So time to these six. Awesome. That's that all done. And put the clutch on. Certainly can't put the starter motor or the gearbox on until I have. I'll do all there. And the release bearing and then the gearbox housing. So I need not oh no, I bought that. I'm just gonna say yes. Work that out. Okay, then I put the starter motor back on the side. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Go on. Yep. And the uh Oh, they're not by a front drive shaft. Oh, I have to lift it up in the air to do that. And the steering rack. Oh the exhaust manifold I can put on though. No suitable parts to assemble because uh oh it doesn't tell you. But I assume I can how do you know which one to put on then? <laughs> what do you mean you've got to know? Um, exhaust, exhaust, exhaust manifold. See, I think it might be B. Oof, bit of a risk. They both look very similar. I mean, it is a V6, but uh, it's not. It's it's off road, so. Whew. Alright. Do the old reach around. Alright, okay, so. No oh, condition modules, I presume I bought those. That's that, so ignition module. Awesome, and then the sparkles. Same this side, so ignition module. Ooh, clicking everywhere but where we need. Volting, volting, volt, volt here. And then the sparkles. Zoom in a little bit. Make it slightly less annoying. Okay, and then HT leads. Right, uh, okay. Oh yes, the air filter and stuff can be done. Yes. One of the pieces we didn't have to buy, look, the air filter cover, that saved us buckets of uh, of money. Simply buckets. The battery. Oh yeah, we haven't finished doing this yet. And little tube. Now it looks a bit like a V6 jobber. So let's, I wonder. Oh, it's not over there. Filter doohickey. F limiter V6, it looked like. Is that straight diagonal? 
shape as opposed to the wavy shape. Alright, so what have I not put on the engine? There were some V6 decisions that I didn't make. Uh, not sure, I think that's everything actually. Uh, I think it was mainly down to things like um, exhaust decisions and some suspension bits. Alright, so let's see what we can put on the wheels whilst we're here. We can put on the brake discs and the brake pads. Captain Caliper. Alright, I won't put the wheel on yet. I don't think I've bought the wheels anyway, so that's less of an issue. Uh, I'll put the sway bars on from here. Is that because it requires the axle to tie into, perhaps? Okie dokie, so it looks like I'm just putting on the brakes then at the moment. Still, get stuff out of the inventory, doesn't it? Now, oh, brake pads at this side. And just slightly irritating, hard to put on one. There we go. Calypso. Right, there we go. Uh -huh. Look down far enough when you stood right next to the wheel. <laughs> These years of mechanicking, this guy's got a broken neck, I guess. Or a neck that just doesn't bend. Right, so we go. Yeah, so we'll stand right up to it. I can't actually look down far enough to, <laughs> to back off slightly. It's not the end of the world. we'd know what it was, wouldn't it? If it was the end of the world, we'd know it. As the song goes. Right, okay, so we stick up in the air, we can poke about at the exhaust and stuff, which we still need to buy some of. And the su suspension. Alright, so, did I buy a steering rack? I did. Uh, therefore, the tie rods, but they might need something to tie into, which makes sense. So, drive shaft. There we go. And then I can stick the axle in. Awesome. A little bit of bolting. And I should be able to put in the other things. Okay. And I should put in a spring if I had one. I need two more of these off road shock absorbers for the rear. So why can't. Oh, so they walk up at these in. I can. Do I need some of the suspension in for it to work? Divin there. That's still that goes in now. So I don't have those, do I? No. Nope. So let's go down the back of the car. Oh, we could put in the rear drive shaft while we're here, perhaps. No, perhaps not. Hey, there we go. And then the rear axle as we clamber down the underside of the car, as previously discussed. There we go. And then so we need same sort of shock absorber for the rear. So we need two shock absorbers. I've got the springs for the back. So we need shock absorbers and springs for the front. So, sure. There we go. Shock absorber off-road times two for the rear. And then suspension spring uh, front. So I think I already bought the rear ones. I remember needing those at the time. I didn't think it was necessarily... I wasn't sure if they were at the front as well. So anyway, here we go, here's the front ones, A, and the front one, B, and let's climb down the car, oh, it's not like nothing, I'm really talking near enough, yeah, oh yes, there we go, climbing down the car, awesome, Volta Volta and your spring, I right, don't use it all at once, oh, can I see the bush, no, not quite, can't see it for the trees, Twist around to get those bushes sorted because they're easy to forget. Push A. And push B. Oh, and there's the fuel filter and such as well. I can put on whilst I'm here. Fuel filter and one fuel pump. Bolt bolt here. So the rear. Is that the rear internals done? It's not so much on the four before. I think it might be. It's not obvious that I've forgotten anything yet, so it's just the exhaust really to do for the underneath. So, can I... 
it doesn't tell you what you need, so I need a piece that looks like that. <laughs> this is going to be great. Let's go. Let's go to the right place. Uh, so I need a twisty bit of exhaust. So exhausts. Uh, exhaust pipe. But it looks a bit like that. Yeah, let's take one of those. Um, and we know we needed that um, off-road rear muffler. I guess the catalytic converters are the same for everything, are they? Or is it the uh, V6 version we need? Because they're a bit expensive. Let's assume it's a V6. Good grief, it's a bit expensive if it isn't. Uh, oh, I'm not sure if it's... It's one of these straight ones required. I'm going to guess it's the middle. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Where's the spot? There's the hot spot. Oh, can we put these inner tie rods on there? No, okay. Sidetracked. Sidetracked. Right, let's see. Yeah, that works. Let's bolt that puppy in. So that should be the cat in the middle, I think. In your pop. There we go. B6 cat. Awesome. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hit it with my spanner. There we go. Ah, no, okay, so it wasn't the, uh, that wasn't the part I was looking for. <laughs> so, gambled and lost a hundred bucks. So, oh, well, two hundred bucks to spend on that one. Clickety click. Fairly easy with the ramp down, up, up, down ramp. Bolting, bolting. There we go. Right. So then it's just the back box, which is nice and easy. Reference to the fact it's an off-road piece. Oh, where's the join gun? Ah, there it is. Um, can I bolt through all this stuff? Yes. All right. So. Um, so mainly it's the front suspension bits that need putting on, the tie rods and that, and, and the wheels. Uh, that might be it, he says tentatively. Fully aware that he's probably forgotten something obvious. <laughs> Look at the sway bars, the sway bars got put on, so, hmm, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Yes, yeah, so actually, have to have to have some wheels before I can put them on. So, Bolton Wanderers, Bolton Wanderers, grand a piece. So, three, four. I'm good if we could put some different parts on. You know, some stupidly large tractor wheels on the back. So. Well, it wouldn't be that great, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Right. So, out to inner and then outer tie rod. Okay, I think that's the confusing bits done. Confusing. The sort of slightly complicated bits. That's just the wheels. Wheels are simple. We all know what wheels are. Fifty grand for me to just sort of to, to, to repair the the main part of the car. Just well, they, they had a chassis. I can't imagine you wouldn't get this car for. You know, surely it doesn't cost fifty grand just to buy a new one. All right. No tick yet. Okay. I've <laughs> forgotten something. Well, it's not surprising. Is it? Oh, but is it the oil filter? I just thought about that. Does it actually need oil as well? That's a fair, fair question. I didn't ask for oil, but surely it. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, there's no oil. Uh, 
always needs a little bit more. Okay, now that might be it. Awesome. All right. So I wonder how much that 50 gram we got left. We had thir uh, all I remember is that we had 13 at the start of the previous job and spent a bit, obviously, but they gave us five, so it'll have been less than that. Good grief. So we'll have been on sort of like 11 or 12 grand, and of the 50 grand we got for this job, we only used, I don't know, half or something. Or, or, or what maths might tell you is the actual number. Great. Well, thanks for watching. This is probably the end of... Well, this is definitely the end of the 4x4 DLC, as far as I'm aware. Uh, there may be more car mechanic simulator stuff coming up, and as always, next year. Now, thank you very much for watching so far. Leave comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. It struck me that actually I might as well process the because I think this is going to be the last one. So let's see what happens. So hello again, and let's see what happens next. All right, takes me to the credits, the title screen even, it's not credits. So thank you once again for watching.